All right, I think the first one I would want to mention among several others is that there is a lot of fast growth and this brings about the creation of mega cities without structural transformation as occurred in Asia and other places. And this really makes it problematic. The second one has to do with the physical fall. You see urbanization happening in many African countries and it is by expansion. And so you find out that it is then not possible to be able to provide municipal services to, to many of these uh, emergent uh, cities. And then the third one, I think, is the absence of inclusivity. Um, many people are left out in the whole process of urbanization. I think we can sum that up in the uh, SDG goal 11, um, make cities and human settlements uh, inclusive, safe, resilient and, and sustainable. I think everything is embodied in there. When you talk about um, inclusivity, you are talking about rights to the city, you are talking about integration, you are talking about employment. If you talk about uh, safety, we're talking about um, urban security, we're talking about transportation, and we're talking about health. And so once you focus on the SDG goal 11, uh, you'll be able to look at all the areas that present challenges to African urbanization. I think that one of the key things that governments can do is to develop sound national urban policies because for me that is the basis of all um, action in, in, in the urban uh, landscape. The, the second thing is for me uh, giving meaning to decentralization. Um, many, especially in African in the African context, many um, African countries have decentralized, but there, there's not been meaning to it. There's still centralization. And as a result, there is no coordination between the levels of government. <music>